So here's a new one. What if you could turn the dangerous carbon emissions that contribute to global warming into a martini? But this is no toxic cocktail. Senior climate correspondent Diana Olick joins us now with the latest in her series on clean startups. Diana? Well, Julia, we've reported a lot on carbon capture, which is various methods that take those dangerous CO2 emissions from factories and other sources and keep them from getting into the atmosphere. But what do you do with all that CO2? Well, how about making vodka? It's the best vodka on, on, on planet Earth. And, says the Air Company CEO Gregory Constantine, the best for planet Earth because the vodka is actually made from greenhouse gas emissions. We work with partners that, that capture that carbon dioxide before it's emitted into the atmosphere, and then we use that CO2 in our process in creating the alcohols that we create. Distilling alcohol the old-fashioned way not only releases its own emissions, but it uses a lot of water, about 35 liters of water, to make one liter of distillate. But it's obviously you know, far better for the planet in that we're removing CO2 for every bottle that we're creating. The scientific process in these laboratories is invaluable, but it's not cheap. Air Vodka, a three-year-old startup, is a luxury brand, about $65 a bottle. But at Bathtub Gin in Lower Manhattan, the vodka is getting high praise. So once we tell them, hey, this is how it's made and it's, it's got a, a negative carbon footprint, all those really beautiful things is what happens to make them want it even more. And then they go looking for it going, where can we get it? The company is now going beyond vodka, launching a perfume line made of CO2 and opening its third production facility. Vodka for us is really a gateway towards all the other products uh, and then, then the industrial applications of, of where our technology can go. The air company is backed by Toyota Ventures, JetBlue Technology Ventures, Parlay for the Oceans and Carbon Direct Capital Management. Total funding to date, just over $40 million. Carbon capture is now becoming big business as we look not just to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but to keep necessary emissions from getting into the atmosphere. The more carbon we capture, the more opportunity there is to put that carbon to use. It's now being used to make everything from vodka to eyeglasses, laundry detergent, Coca-Cola, even jet fuel, Julia. Wow, amazing stuff. I was fascinated by the fact that you can use the carbon for so many different things. What kind of competition are we seeing among other companies in the space? I mean, this company raised $40 million. There must be a lot of interest uh, from entrepreneurs. Absolutely, because we're seeing so much more of this carbon capture. I mean, I'm getting pitches every day from companies that are doing different types of carbon capture. And then the next step, of course, is another company that might liquefy it and shoot it into the ground or, as I said, sell it to Coca-Cola. But the more carbon we capture, the more companies are going to want to do something interesting with that carbon. And that's just not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. And I bet consumers are interested in that as well. Thank you so much, Diana. Sure.